Hello everybody. So yes, I am back again. Uh, thank you very much for staying subscribed. I know that it's been a while since I've done my last video, but I've been very busy moving into my new flat and sorting things out that I haven't had as much time to do these YouTube videos. Um, as you can see, um, the background has changed. Um, so I'm going for a bit of a different layout, trying to experiment with a new, th um, with a few new things. I had my posters behind me before. Um, I put those posters all the way in the Blu-ray cases. Um, as you can see behind me, I've got the unit with all my Blu-rays and DVDs displayed. So hopefully that's okay for now. Let me know what you think of that. Um, as you can see, I've got my Criterions on the top shelf and I've got the HMV Premiums and all the other ones um, below. I've decided to switch the lights on. I want to give as much light as possible um, with the layout of this new flat, I've got this big window which is opposite and that does let some light through, although there was a building opposite so it doesn't let a whole great deal of light through but it's particularly nice in the evenings. So today I have just got back from HMV and I've bought four new Blu-rays and these are all films that I've never seen before so I'm interested to see um, how much I like these and very eager to check them out. Um, so. I'm going to talk through them right now. So first of all, I have I Confess. So this is the first of two HMV premiums that I've picked up. And I've never seen this film before. Like I said, I haven't seen any of these. Um, this one is directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now Alfred Hitchcock's one of my favorite directors of all time. So um, I haven't seen a single film from Alfred Hitchcock that I don't like, although some are better than others. Um, I'm sure that I will enjoy this one. I haven't done too much research on it. Um, I believe it's a courtroom drama. Um, it does star Montgomery Clift and Anne Baxter, who are two big stars from back in the day. Montgomery Clift I recently saw in From Here to Eternity. Very good drama, and, and he's also in Red River, one of my favourite westerns of all time. Um, and also The Heiress, which I have the criterion of behind me. Um, Anne Baxter, fantastic in All About Eve, and also The Ten Commandments. Um, and the film also has Carl Malden in it as well, who's a great character actor. Um, yeah, and the running time's only 94 minutes, so it's a nice and swift movie. So I'm sure I'll find a way to slot that into my um, evening slots if I want to put a film on. So, yeah, so I confess. So have any of you guys seen this? Um, let me know if you think it's any good. I'll get around to watching it soon. And hopefully at some point I may do a review of it and let you know what I think, but it certainly sounds good. Um, I do like these kind of courtroom drama um, films, particularly ones like 12 Angry Men and To Kill a Mockingbird, and I, and I actually recently watched um, Witness for the Prosecution for the first time, and I thought that was an amazing film. So I'm expecting this to be sort of similar, but I don't know exactly. Looks like the Montgomery Clift um, plays a priest in this film. So that'll be interesting, so we'll see what that is like. So next, um, on to the second of the HMV premiums which I bought today. This one is called Robin and Marion. Now, I'd actually never really heard of this film until I saw it in the HMV premium collection. So I don't know how good it's supposed to be, but, um, you know, obviously Robin Hood, a very famous character. Um, I think it's debatable whether he was a real historical character or not, but nevertheless, I've seen quite a lot of films, a lot of TV series with, with Robin Hood in, and you generally know what to expect. Um, I particularly like the Errol Flynn version, The Adventures of Robin Hood. Obviously, there's the Disney film, and there's well, there's the Kevin Costner one, there's a Russell Crowe one, there's all sorts, and um, yeah, so I'm sure sure I'll find a way to enjoy it. And also with Sean Connery, um, a bit of an older Sean Connery as Robin Hood, um, yeah, fantastic actor, obviously the original James Bond, and Audrey Hepburn is in it as Maid Marion. Who doesn't love Audrey Hepburn? And when you look at the rest of the cast, it's very impressive. We've got Robert Shaw, Richard Harris, and weirdly enough, Ronnie Barker as Friar Tuck. Now, that, that, that's a bit unexpected. I like uh, Ronnie Barker in Porridge, um, so yeah, he's a very funny actor, but I don't expect him to be in something like this. But then you've also got um, Den Holm Elliott as well, so... Yeah, it, do, it does look like this one focuses more on the romance because it does actually say for Robin and Marion, love is the greatest adventure of all. Um, I think with Robin Hood, there is always a bit of a romantic element between Robin and Marion, so that's to be expected. But the front cover does look quite good, actually. Um, 
don't know if you can see the look like there's some sword fighting going on there which looks good fun so yeah um look forward to watching that let me know if any of you guys have seen that that certainly does look like good fun really the cast is what sort of drew me to it um oh and also the music's by john barry as well um and um yeah he did the music to the james bond films and it's directed by richard lester not too familiar i, I, I believe he directed some of the superman movies so yeah as i said i don't know how good the film is supposed to be but it looks good fun so next up i also picked up two criterions um i was actually by the way i should say i was going to get some more blu-rays in this just for but um you know with the money all piling up you sort of you end up looking at them thinking how much money is this all going to cost and um yeah so I sort of i did end up originally getting two more but then i put them back i thought perhaps another time but anyway these two criterions i'll talk about so first of all i have charade uh, this came out 1963. Um, I believe it's a bit of a perhaps caper film, a bit of a chase film, um, but really it's the cast. I mean, you've got Audrey Hepburn again, actually, and Cary Grant. Now, you know, <laughs> Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn in a film together, I'm sold instantly because they're two big stars um, from, you know, back in the day. And it looks good fun. It, it look, looks like a fairly light-hearted movie. But it does say on the back, in this comedic thriller, a trio of crooks relentlessly pursue a young American, played by Audrey Hepburn in gorgeous Givenchy through Paris, in an attempt to recover the fortune her dead husband stole from them. Um, and the only person she can trust is Cary Grant, suave, mysterious stranger. So it sounds really good. Directed by Stanley Donan, who also directed Singing in the Rain. And it looks like it's in Technicolor as well, so it should be a nice movie. Um, yeah, but I don't know much about it. Oh, the music's by Henry Mancini, which is interesting. He did the music to the Pink Panther and um, Baby Elephant Walk. So, yeah, um, very, very good musical composer, definitely. So if any of you have seen this, please let me know. It does look like a nice movie. It looks like an entertaining film. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching Charade. And finally... Best to last, well, I say best to last, this is the one, the one that I'm looking forward to watching the most, um, Anatomy of a Murder. So I don't know if any of um, you have seen this. I've been wanting to watch this for a while, actually. Um, I've constantly been wanting to pick up the Criterion, but you know with Criterion's being expensive, you can't just go in and buy them every day, um, unless you're rich. So, but this one, really what drew me to it was the fact James Stewart is in it. So James Stewart's one of my favourite actors of all time. I haven't seen a single film with James Stewart I don't like. And this, um, you know, a bit like I Confess, I believe it's a courtroom drama. I think it was a slightly controversial film for the time. It does deal with rape. Um, and it's directed by Otto Preminger. I think I've only seen one film directed by him, which is Laura. And that is a fantastic movie. I really love that film. I've got it on Blu-ray behind me. Um... Yeah, the film also stars Lee Remick, who was in A Face in a Crowd, um, and also George C. Scott, who is a very good actor. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, I do like this type of courtroom drama films, and I think James Stewart is always good at playing this type of character, quite a moral character, is what... Well, I get the idea that's the kind of character he is. It says he plays um, a small-town Michigan lawyer who takes on a difficult case. So it definitely sounds right up my street. And yeah, I've heard of the film for a while. Um, oh, music's by Duke Ellington in this, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one I've been meaning to get to. I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to checking this one out. So um, if any of you have seen this, please let me know what you think. Um, yeah, probably might be one of the first ones that I watch out of these. Oh, so so there we go. So that's what I got on my trip to HMV today. I do want to go um, and buy Blu-rays more often, but it's just because of the money that I haven't um, really been doing that so often. Um, so um, it is also worth saying I am on Letterboxd. I don't know if any of you are on Letterboxd. Um, I'll post a link to it um, below. I also have a link to it on my homepage as well. If any of you are on Letterboxd, uh, you, you, you'll know what it's about. It's a website where you can... Um, log your films and you can give them ratings and you can write reviews on them um i tend to do quite short reviews for them to be honest i don't normally write too much but it's just interesting to see what films you've been watching and what films other people have been watching as well 
it's a similar interest and just a way to sort of see what other people are up to so there we go um yeah this video has been a bit longer than i was expecting to be honest uh, um, <laughs> um i hope um i hope you're all well and i hope you all enjoying yourselves and watching good movies um thank you all for watching this video um i apologize if, um, if i'm a bit rusty in terms of my presenting style in terms of the video i'm still getting used to this new layout obviously it's been um, a few months now since my last video so um but once i get back into the swing of things i will um, improve hopefully that is the idea and i do plan to do some more reviews um i think with these films i might not necessarily watch them straight away i think i might get around to watching them sort of one at a time over a few weeks perhaps um and then hopefully get around to reviewing some of them it's always nice to do a review of a film um upon a first watch instead of going back to one again um yeah so i don't have much more to say so um i won't waste any more of your time so thank you all very much for watching and i will see you next time take care